hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to see how to use decision under vba so without wasting any time let's dive into it well first of all what is decision decision making allows the programmers to control the execution flow of a script or one of its sections the execution is governed by one or more conditional statements what is general form of typical decision making in almost every programming well it is like this where we provide certain conditions if this condition is true then it will execute this condition code otherwise it will bypass this is simple structure for decision making now let's see how many types of decision making exist in vba well there are five types of decision making if statement a false statement if else if else statement nested if statement and switch statement well if you are using a, a statement then you don't need to worry about other things whenever your condition occurs then this if statement should be executed so you are writing certain conditions under if statement the same thing is written here an if statement consists of a boolean expression followed by one or more statement well now discuss if else statement so when if statement fails then program will run else execution code so whatever code we are going to write under else statement it will execute that so if your statement is incorrect under if then it will move to the next statement else statement and it will execute the else statement code well what do we do if we have to test multiple condition and based on that condition we have to execute a particular code there we can use if else if statement in which if the first condition is true then the first code will be executed otherwise it will go for the else statement if this is the false then the else statement will be executed then we can write condition for the next expression also and if statement followed by one or more else if statement that consist of boolean expression and then followed by an optional else statement which executes when all the condition becomes false well now let's discuss nested statements and if or else if statement inside another if else if statements are called nested if statement well now let's talk about switch statement what is switch statement a switch statement allows a variable to be tested for a equality against a list of values well this must be looking complicated i'll be showing you in my example how easy it is first of all let's discuss what is the syntax for this decision making statements this is the statement syntax if then we'll be writing our boolean expression then we'll be writing our statements multiple statements can be written statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 statement n and we have to end this if statement by and if now how the flow diagram will look like it will look like something like this if this condition is true then this code will be executed otherwise it will pass now let's see what is the syntax for if else statement if statement then we'll be writing our boolean expression then we'll be writing our code here so if this condition is true if this boolean expression is true then these statements will be executed means this code will be executed otherwise it will move to the else statement so if this condition is not true it will be executing the code which is written under else statement and then we have to end this if statement so how do we end well we end it through and if how the flow diagram look like well it looks like something like this where this condition is written if this condition is true then the if code will be executed if this condition is false then this else code will be executed what if we have to test multiple conditions and you wanted to execute different code for different conditions how do we write then well it is simple first of all you have to write if then boolean expression then you have to write your code here then you have to write your another condition under else if the condition is boolean expression then you have to write your code whichever you wanted to execute whenever this boolean expression is correct or else it will go for the next expression in the same manner you have to write the last else statement whenever this all condition of else if or if fails 
then it will execute the code which is written under else statement. Thereafter, you have to end this if else if statement with and if. And how do the flow diagram looks like? This is the flow diagrams. Well, this is the Boolean expression one. If it is true, then the statement one will be executed. If, if it is false, then it will go for the next condition and it will check the next condition. If the next condition is true, then the statement two will be executed or else it will go for the next condition. If it is true, then the statement will be executed. Otherwise, it will go for the last statement in this flowchart and rest of the code will be executed thereafter. Now let's see nested if statement in VB script. Well, if this Boolean expression is true, then the statement one will be executed. You can write multiple statement under any Boolean expression. If this is executed, then it will go for testing the next if condition under that. Suppose you are testing the value, whether it is greater than 100 or less than 100. Well, first you are testing, it is greater than 100. Once it is tested that it is greater than 100, it is going under the one more if conditions where you are putting like it is greater than 50 or not. In the same manner, we are writing one more expression under our if statement. So it is nested. If Boolean expression, this statement will be executed or else, else if this statement will be executed. We are testing two conditions under if thereafter we are putting else and we are again doing this else for the first if you have to remember this for this if we have not put any if condition this if this else if and this else is one quote you can see or one statement and this if we are ending it with this else and this whole code we are ending with and if don't worry about the complexity we'll be discussing it on our example and details. Now let's see the syntax of our switch statement. Well, this is the syntax of switch statement where we are mentioning the case. First, we are selecting the case expression. Now we are writing this case and then we are writing the expression list one and we are writing our statements. Thereafter, we are again writing our case and expression list two, then our statement code. Similarly, so on and so on we are writing our expression list n and our statement otherwise or else we are writing our this else statement and we are ending this with and select we use and if if you are writing switch statement then we'll be ending it with the and select since we have started this switch statement with select in this video we are going to see some of the code which is related to decision making and we are going to test different boolean expressions for decision making statements so without wasting any time let's dive into it here i have opened my excel file now i'll go to developer visual basic and it will open this visual basic application now i am going to insert a module today we are going to run the program through direct module we are not going to use any button to run the code so go to insert then insert a module here we are going to write our code so how do we write our code well first of all we will be testing our if condition so i'll be writing the sub as a if so that sub if and i'm going to put this underscore so that it doesn't confuse with real expression so here I am going to write my original codes. First, I'll be declaring the variables. I am using two variables x and y. dmx as an integer, dmy as an integer. Now I am going to assign some value to x and y. The value of x I am assigning as a 4 and the value of y I am assigning as a 3. Now let's test our if condition. If x is greater than y, then it should execute this code, which is message box. X is greater than y. Now I'm going to end this if statement. How do we end? Well, it is simple. And if that's it guys. Now I'll be running this program and I'll be seeing this output. So how do we run the program? Well, we can directly press F5 button or else we can press this run button. Here I'm going to press the F5 button. 
Yeah, it is showing x is greater than y. Well, the value of x was 4 and the value of y was 3. So x is definitely greater than y. Hence, it is showing x is greater than y. Now let's change the value of x and y and test our next condition, which is if else statement. So here I am changing the value of y as a 33. So this statement is no longer valid. Still, we have to end this if statement with and if statement. Now I'm going to write the code. So whenever this condition x greater than y is false, it will come to the else statement. It will be executing the codes, whatever I'm writing under this else statement. So what I'm writing, I'm writing x is less than y. Why I'm writing like this? Because in this condition, this statement is true. Since I have changed the value of y to 33. So here the y is more. So let's run this program through F5 button. Now it is showing x is less than y. It is correct because the value of x we have written as a same as earlier and we have changed the value of y to 33. So the value of x was 4 and the value of y was 33. Definitely y was greater than x. Now let's move to the next condition and test it. What was our next condition? Well, it was else if statement. So here I'm going to change this else to else if. Then I'm going to write here the statement x is equal to y. Then it will execute this code message box x is equal to y. Now I'll be making both the values same. So you can understand where we can use this all conditions. So if x is greater than y, this statement will be executed. Otherwise, if x is equal to y, then this else if statement will be executed. Otherwise, this statement will be executed. So in this example, we are seeing that x and y value is 4. So this else if statement should be executed. I'm running this program and I'm going to see whether it runs perfectly or not. Hit the F5 button and it is showing x is equal to y, which is true and the condition is true. Now let's move for the next statement, which is nested if statement. How do we write our next nested if statement? Well, it is like we are writing if else statement and we are going to write more condition under if and which is also pertains to if else statement only. So first of all, I'm going to change the value of X and Y. Here, I don't need the value of Y because I'm not going to test it. So, so I'm going to remove it from here. And I'm going to take the one value only. If X is greater than zero, then it will be showing. If X is greater than zero, then it will be testing our next condition, which is if x is greater than 5 then it will be showing in the message box x is greater than 5 or else it will be showing x is less than 5 now let me write my else condition x is less than 5 then it will be executing my one more code which is if x is else may i'll be writing it as a if x is not greater than 0 then x is negative number so this is nested if statement where we have written one more if else under if statement and we are testing this condition so the value is 4 so how do we test this condition well the 4 is greater than 0 so it will execute this code and it will write x is greater than 0 then it will test this condition if else is greater than 5 of course not then it will move to the next else statement it will show message box x is less than 5 this statement will not be executed since the number is not negative number and this condition is passing. So this statement will be executed only. Let's run this code. I'm hitting this run button. 
yeah it is showing else without if so here we have completed our code i have made some necessary changes also first of all four so it will be testing this condition x is greater than four then this will be executing this code x is greater than zero definitely it is greater than zero because it is four now it will be going for the next statement which is x is greater than five it since it is not greater than five it will move to the next statement next else if statement it will be testing this condition x is less than five hence it will be executing this code and it will be showing x is less than five this will not be running this code since x is not a negative number so we'll be running it for the negative code also and we'll be seeing the output for negative also let's hit the f5 button yeah it is showing x is greater than zero it is correct it is showing x is less than five it is correct now i'll be choosing one negative number so i'll be putting minus in front of four and i'll be running the same program so that it should execute this x is negative number code yeah it is showing x is negative number now we know that this code is working properly and we have tested our else if condition we have tested our nested if condition so this is our last switch statement where we are testing this value first i have declared the variable my variable which is my var and i am defining it as a integer type i have assigned the value of my integer as a one and i am testing it against several conditions so first i am starting this statement with select case my variable so it will be comparing the value of my variable against each cases and it will be executing the code accordingly so case one is the number is least composite number if it is one so this statement is true so it should execute the first statement otherwise it will go and it will test the next statement then third statement then we have to do the case else also so that if any of the statements case one two or three gets failed it will execute a known number so let's run this program the number is the least composite number with this example we have tested our all the conditions for decision making thank you guys for watching this video